So it's the Hilton Hotel in Liverpool One. It's something very special tonight. One of my best friends uh, is turning 70, but not only that, uh, legend in Liverpool, Pete Price, is celebrating 50 years in show business. First of all, tell us about tonight. It's a party, but it's a party with a difference. It's a party with a difference. I had a private party on Saturday for 50 of my close friends, which was great. We went I was to, in, I was in you went to, of course you did. We went to Rothen Castle. Nobody knew they were going, and it was the funniest night, and I was over the moon. This is a charity that's for Clare House and Cash for Kids. And no one has ever, ever done a roast in Liverpool before. And in fact, most of these people here don't know what a roast is. Tell they us. think they do. What is it? Well, basically, very famous people, not me, very famous people have been roasted. And it's an American idea. And you sit there and you get slagged off. It's supposed to be cleverly. But I remember Sharon Osbourne was roasted. And she actually got up to smack the fella who did it because um, he was talking about her daughter. Uh, Donald Trump's just been roasted. It's a, it's a very unusual thing, but it's supposed to be clever and subtle. I'm not holding my breath tonight. We've got five people on screen and five people live in here. And I sit there and I'm not allowed to say anything. So these are comedians and they can basically take, take the mick out of you. Oh. And there's no holes barred. Oh. According to some of the tapes, there's definitely no holes barred. <laughs> uh, I'm allowed to get my revenge at the end. But I don't think I'll be left at the end. I don't think there'll be anything left to say. It, it, I'm doing this for charity, no other reason. I'm really, really bricking it. I'm really nervous about it. And I don't get nervous, as you know. We've worked together for so many years. But I'm really worried about this. I don't know what to expect. Uh, I've got some surprises for... In fact, no, I'll tell you. Because, yeah, you're the ones. They don't know. We've got Paul O'Grady. We've got Mrs. Brown, Brendan O'Carroll. We've got Claire Sweeney. We've got Billy Butler. We've got Ken Dodd. We've got legends. Um, we've got Mick Miller. We've got Chrissy Rock. We've got Paul Boardman. We've got Stan Boardman and Les Dennis. So it's an amazing lineup. So what, and we're all doing it for nothing. What are you expecting from it? What's the worst thing that they could possibly say tonight? What are you going uh, to It's already been said and we've cut it out of Paul O'Grady. <laughs> so <laughs> that was recorded, so live. Anything could happen. That was that was a. Oh, so he's, he's meeting and greeting guests no, as no, they're walking no, in. No, I'm just saying some some legends from. I'm on camera. Go away. Georgina, go away, I'm on, I'm on camera, I'm on camera. Hi, bye. <laughs> uh, right, talking of being on camera, you've been in the line right now for 50 years, 50 years in Liverpool business. and nationwide. Yeah. Tell us, and it's a different question for you this, out of everything you've ever done, one highlight. That is the most difficult thing. I think the first time my mum saw me on stage at the Shakespeare, I remember she didn't see it because she was crying. Or the first time she saw me on telly, it was all around my mum. Whatever it was, it was around my mum. So it's been difficult in the Palladium. Uh, Joe, Lang Joe Longthorne allowed me to work with him on the Palladium. And that was my dream come true. And I can honestly say I don't remember a thing. Because when you go on the Palladium, everyone says, wait till you see. You go on and you think of the people that have stood on that stage before you. And I drove home that night because I had a gig to do. And I don't remember driving home. I was in a different world, a different world. It you was probably amazing. Won't, you probably won't remember getting home later as well tonight. But tell me about, um, you know, obviously back then, back when you were, when you, you were young, you used to have a wish list, a dream list of things you wanted to tip off and do. Is there anything still on that list? Yes, two, without any shadow of a doubt. And if the producers are listening right now, please pick up on this. This is your life, I wanted to do that. Now there's a box behind me door, in the front door, with all, because I live alone, I've got a box of stuff. So if the producer wants it, it's there. It's finished. It's all there. No, no, but they might bring it back again. And then, I've always wanted to do Desert Island Discs. I think that's one of the most interesting programmes ever on radio, and I'd love to have done that. But in I'm not famous enough. In terms of show business though, obviously you've acted, you've sung, you've got your radio show, which is legendary. Is there any other jobs that you want to do? Do you know what I mean? No. You've done them all? No, I've done it all. It's been amazing. It's time to slow down a little bit. I've done 30 years of pantos. I started with Dick Whittington, finished with Dick Whittington. I mightn't do another one, I don't know yet. Never say never. Which, by the way, was the best panto I've yeah. seen. The yeah, Shire. that one is Scylla. Yeah. Scylla 2008 was, you know, and I miss that lady so much. If she would be here tonight, she would have been guest of honour. Well, Pete, thank you, enjoy. Happy birthday, it's the 70th today. Uh, I'm 50 years in show business as well. Can I fantastic. say thank you to everyone that supported me over the years because I couldn't have done it without them. Because let's face it, Liverpool are a fickle audience. If you don't like me, I'll be out.
Yeah. I think I'll get off now while I'm winning. Yeah, Thank you, Jim. The snares are that way, Pete. Okay. Happy birthday, mate. Big price.